Okay, we're going to just come in and pray now. So if you'd like to just pray for this event, for the coming of God's kingdom, for the reign of Jesus Christ here, for the saving of souls, for healing, for miracles, just come and let's step together. So Lord, we just thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you, Lord, that we can join together from different churches. And it be a pop-up church here in Love You One Square. And in the name of Jesus, we just claim this time for your kingdom coming, Heavenly Father. Us friends. And we just thank you that the guys here welcomed us. Joe and Junior and Matt and Sheila, shopkeepers, even the government welcomed us to, to be here. We feel really welcome being here because you've got the horizontal relationship of peace and respect and love. And the vertical relationship is our relationship to God. And that relationship, because of Jesus, goes on forever. Can I hear an amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. That, that resurrection relationship with God goes on forever if we follow him and uh, that life is for us now the Holy Spirit now in your in your heart now so we've got an absolutely jam-packed program for you today we've got a beautiful team and they've all stepped up and they're going to do heaps of fun things and, and to help us to walk with the Lord today and find his um, his life for us and his word for us <laughs> I've told you that how my husband passed and during that time Jesus was my strength he was my life he showed me the way and when something as big as that happens you start to feel like this in my case because I was I wasn't running around like a chook with his head cut up I wasn't going crazy I wasn't going why God I was actually in a place where I was going, this is you. I'm not crazy. This peace that I've got is actually my God being with me. Oh, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus in my family. Son of Man is going to be judged and put to death by the religious leaders in Jerusalem. They will tease him, spit on him, and whip him and kill him. And after three days, he will rise again. Okay, so Jesus told his friends that. And that's not just one time, but three times he told them, his friends, that. But he still was determined to go to Jerusalem where the cross was. Because he knew that this was going to happen and he knew he was going to die, but that's why he came. Look around Lebanon Square, and over here we have a blind man, and he's doing his thing. There's no Centrelink in those days, of course, so um, he's got to do his thing, which is sit there on his cardboard box with, I'm blind. What's your name? What's your name? Bart. Bart. Okay, Bart. I can't see, I'm blind, and that is why I'm here. And this is my space, spot near the gate. Stop pushing me. Leave me alone, guys. So what does Jesus say? Just bring that man to me. <laughs> what do you want me to do for you? Heal me so I can see again. Receive your sight. Your faith has saved you. Wow! I can see everyone! Wow! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, Lord! Thank you! Shout and cheer! Your king is coming! 
Yes, he's a good king who makes all things right. A humble king riding a donkey, just a young donkey. A king riding a donkey, a young donkey, not a stallion, not a an amazing far lap, expensive super a million dollars kind of um, thoroughbred. No, it was a donkey, a young donkey. Ah. Uh, what noise does a donkey make? Thank you, Shane. A blessed afternoon to each and everyone. It's really, uh, I really feel blessed of what happened uh, recently about the, the role playing, and I became uh, an instant uh, actor. Yeah, you know, I remember way back when I was uh, uh, doing that during my youth in our church in the Philippines. You know, we, we do the same thing, but you know, I always uh, play the role of bad people. It's either Judas, it's either the devil, it's always the bad guy. But here, instantly, <laughs> you know, I perform the life of Jesus. Amen? Amen. That God is love. Amen. That God loves you. And the greatest expression of His love toward us is about the blood of Jesus Christ. When He sacrificed His own begotten Son, for us and the power of the blood of Jesus has provided everything that you need to live in light of victory this includes redemption fellowship healing protection and authority over the devil and water must as well God give us peace but the thing is you have to make a decision that who really your master is who really your God is we cannot serve lots of masters we have to serve the only one and true master our God what can we have you done to hide from Jesus he will accept you because he said to me what can we have you done to hide from Jesus what Now, if anybody would like to come and take communion, you need to get your hearts right with Jesus. So you need to tell, tell Jesus that you want to repent for any sin in your life and ask him to cleanse you and come into your heart. So if anybody's willing to do that, take that step, first step to knowing Jesus as their Lord and Saviour, please come forward. Thank you.
as you are seeking to the, see God's kingdom come in your life, you can pray and, and, and we can pray together because that's the way you move forward is to pray and ask God to do things in your life. Um, and we'll pray with you. We're going to finish up now. We're going to have some fish and chips together. We'll do get together. And we'll see you in a month. Uh, we'll do this again in a month. But let's hang out and have some fish and chips. Many thanks to the team who've done all this fantastic work and to all the locals who've helped out. And thank you, Lord, for this special, special time. We love you. Help us to follow you and to stay on that narrow path. In Jesus' name, bless you, bless you.